go first. Mm. Um, we, are we are improving from time to time. And, and the, checks, the checks and balances are emanating from some of the constitutional decisions made in court. Mm. The, the, we, we, are, we are trying to improve the system. But again, as, as you put it, Tom, we are not where we are supposed to be. Because if we are, we are getting into instances where the vice chair gets into a contrary opinion to the chair, mm -hmm. then definitely there are no checks and balances in there. And, and as you put it, what if something happened to Chebukati and he, he disappeared mysteriously or, or something that we can't wish to, to anybody happen? Sure. Nobody. Who, but who would, have, how, who would have announced the results? The vice, the vice chair. chair. So what kind of results would have been announced by the vice chair yeah. if she's in contravention of what Chebukati is announcing? So we, we still need to, to solidify uh, the kind of checks and balances that are in this commission for posterity, for the future that we want to see in a credible uh, election and electoral process. But there you bring a very strong point, mm -hmm. that in the unlikely event, because you know, as we speak, there is an official of IEBC who disappeared. Yeah. And you know what? They found him. But he was not breathing. Right? Regrettably so. Yeah, and, and, and we'll talk about that. So, yeah. so if it was the VC, God forbid, to be the one to announce, yes. and she's part of the dissenting what, what what commission, been treated so what would have been the input of that, Wakili? Are you saying why it actually appears that, you know, the fact that 